Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today we are going to be learning about cows. Now I remember yesterday we learned about the farm, but today we are going to be learning just about cows. So this is what a cow looks like. See it has, it's white with black spots and the cow makes milk and the cow says moo. This is our little cartoon cow from yesterday. All right, so what I wanted to tell you about cows was that they are herbivores, which means that they don't eat meat, they only eat plants, but cows just eat the grass. They have four chambers in their stomachs to help them break down the food that they eat. So we have one stomach, right? But cows have four different parts to their stomach. Four. Isn't that cool? There are over one billion cows in the world. And baby cows or young cows are called calves. Cows have 32 teeth and they chew 50 times per minute. Isn't that crazy? That's a lot. It's a lot of chewing. Well, we are going to get started with our good morning song. Are you ready? Good morning, Sawyer. Good morning, Sawyer. Good morning, Sawyer. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Benjamin. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, Avery. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, River. Good morning, River. Good morning, River. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Eliza. Good morning, Eliza. Good morning, Eliza. We're glad you're here today. I'm so glad that all of my friends are here watching from home. I miss you guys so, so much, but I'm very happy that we can still do these videos and that you can still participate in our school activities. All right, so we are going to sing our Rise and Shine song. Are you ready? Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and Welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. Are we ready to sing really, really quietly? Let's try our whisper voices. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. Now we're going to sing nice and loud. Ready? Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. All right, it's time to sing our days of the week. Now remember, the last few weeks we've been focusing on teaching you the sign language days of the week, okay? So if you remember, today is Wednesday, so the sign for Wednesday, you hold up three fingers like this and you just move them around in a circle like that, okay? So what we'll do is we are going to sign the days of the week as we sing them. You could follow along with me, okay? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Today is Wednesday. Can everybody say Wednesday? Wednesday! All right, I'm going to show you one more time how to sign Wednesday for today, okay? 
So remember, we're gonna hold up three fingers like this. One, two, three, like that. We turn our hand around like this and we go in a circle and we say Wednesday, Wednesday. Good job. All right, my friends, I also wanted to show you how to sign the word cow in sign language. So we make a fist like this and we stick out our pinky and our thumb like that. And it doesn't matter which hand you use, you could use either one. And you put your thumb to your head like this and stick your pinky out like that. And then you just move your hand like this. Here, we'll try it again. Make a fist like this, stick out your thumb and your pinky, which is your first finger and your last finger like that. Good job. And then you put it up to your head like this. And then you just turn it. And that is the sign for cow. Isn't that cool? All right. Now we're gonna talk about baby animals and the different names for the baby animals. Do you know what a baby cow is called? It's called a calf. A baby pig is called a piglet. A baby chicken is called a chick. And a baby horse is called a foal. Do you know what a baby cat is called? A kitten. And a baby dog is called a puppy. Very good. All right, so now we are going to read a story. This book is called Oats and Wild Apples by Frank Ash. A oh, little caterpillar and a butterfly. One day, Calf asked Mother Cow to play. Want to run and jump with me? Mother Cow looked up from chewing her cud. Sorry, but I'm not in the mood. So Calf decided to play on her own. Running through the pasture, she kicked up her heels, jumped into the air, and fell flat on her face. He he he, Calf heard laughing. She stood up and walked over to the fence. Who laughed at me? I did, said Fawn, stepping out of the shadows. He jumped over the fence. Wow, what a terrific jump, exclaimed Calf. Oh, that was nothing, said Fawn, nibbling some grass from the pasture. Mmm, tasty, but I like wild apples better. Want to come chase some butterflies? Sure, said Calf. I see one over there. They both ran after it. Soon, as they got close, the butterfly fluttered up into the sky. Round and round the pasture, they frolicked until the butterfly flew through the fence. Come on, cried Fawn. It's getting away. Calf hesitated. What would Mama think? Then, crouching down, she squeezed under the fence and followed Fawn into the forest. Fawn was waiting by the brook. You took too long, it got away. But watch this, he said, and nudged a frog with his nose. The frog hopped until it landed in the water with a splash. That looks like fun, exclaimed Calf. Can I try? Now Calf and Fawn had a new game, frog nudging. After a while, Calf said, I'd better be going home now. Mama will be worried. Oh, don't go, cried Fawn. Come with me and I'll show you where the wild apples grow. Calf had never tasted wild apples before. Okay, she said, but then I really have to go. Follow me, said Fawn and he led Calf deeper and deeper into the forest. 
Where's your mama? asked Calf as they walked beneath the tall pines. I don't know, said Fawn. We got separated last night when the wolves were chasing us. Wolves? exclaimed Calf. That sounds terrible. Aren't you worried about your mom? asked Calf. Fawn didn't answer. For a long while, they traveled silently through the forest. Fawn was thinking about his mama, and Calf was thinking about hers. She was also thinking about wolves. Maybe, she pondered, why aren't wild apples aren't so important after all. Calf was about to ask Fawn to lead her back to the pasture when they came upon a clearing. In the center of the clearing was a large wild apple tree. Bounding toward the tree, Fawn reached up and pulled down a branch so Calf could grab one of the wild apples. Now isn't that better than the grass from your pasture? asked Fawn. Almost better than the taste of oats, replied Calf. Oats, puzzled Fawn, taking an apple for himself. What are oats? The farmer gives them to us in the barn, said Calf. They taste very good. Calf and Fawn ate many apples that afternoon, as many as they could reach. Then Calf asked to go home. I miss my mama, she said. Fawn nodded and led the way back through the forest. By the time they got to the pasture, the sun was going down and the pasture was empty. Mama, cried Calf. Mama's gone. I want my mama. It's okay, said Fawn. She's got to be here somewhere. But they were worried about Mama. And suddenly, she stopped. Silly me, the farmer, of course. He must have taken her back to the farm, to, back to the barn. The barn, said Fawn. That's right, said Calf. It's that way behind those trees. Now Calf led the way, smelling the strange smells of the barnyard. Fawn followed Calf past the farmer's house and the chicken coop into the dark shadows of the barn. Calf knew exactly where to go find her mother. Rushing up to her side, she, ca she called out, Mama, where have you been? exclaimed Mother Cow. I was worried. I was afraid my milk would turn sour. Mama, this is my new friend. May we share some of our oats with him? Help yourself, said Mother Cow to the fawn. Thank you, replied fawn, and he ate some of the oats. Don't they taste good, asked Calf. Very good, replied fawn. Calf thought for a moment. Maybe you can stay and live with us. I bet you'd like it here. In fact, I know you would. Oh, please say you'll stay. Fawn was just about to answer when a shadow appeared at the door. When Fawn saw who it was, his heart leapt with joy. It's my mama, he cried. Calf watched while Mother Deer greeted Fawn with an affectionate lick. Thanks for the oats, called Fawn. You're welcome, replied Calf. Thanks for the wild apples. And she watched while Fawn and Mother Deer bounded into the night. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. So remember earlier today, we were talking about baby animal names and how a baby calf is a baby cow. Well, in our story today, we learned that the name for a baby deer is a fawn. Isn't that so cool? I'm so happy that that was in our book today, that we had the calf and the fawn. Maybe sometime we'll read more stories about baby animals. But right now we are going to get ready to do our crafts and other fun activities.